Welcome to this video. In this video, I will introduce the relational algebra query, which is a different way from the SQL. It has the same procedure query to SQL, but the relational algebra will use the symbols to represent the query keyword. Here is a relational algebra tutorial website. In relational algebra, we use the sigma to represent select in SQL. Use the pi represent a projection. Use the uh, row represent a rename. Use the u to represent a union operation. Use the minus to represent a set difference. Also, there are some other symbols to represent left out join, right out join, and full out join. Here is the difference between the SQL and the relational algebra. For the specific example, in this website, they gave some examples. For the example one, select the select. The topic is equal database from the tutorials table, which means the relational algebra could change it to SQL, and you also could change the SQL to the relational algebra. There are some other examples. You could take a look at them later. I will put the link into the video description. In this video, I want to introduce a relational algebra calculator. You could build your own database and use the relational algebra query to do some practice. And you also could use this relational algebra calculator to evaluate your assignment or homework. It's very helpful to check the correct list. The website is R E L A X. I will use an example to tell you how to use this calculator. Here is the question. Let R and S be the following relations. There are two tables, R and S. Give the relations produced by the following relational algebra queries. Here they give you six relational algebra queries and they want you to get the result after the after execute the relational algebra query. First step, we should create the database first. You could click here and create a new database. You could give any name. We could give test. And the first table is R. Since there are four columns, we just need to put it here. Use the space A space B space C space D, and uh, put the data below. Use the space three zero two three, and the second row is zero two one three. The third row is three five one two. Next for the R R tables and for the S table. We could copy it here, and since the S table it just has three columns, A, C, E, we could do some changes and also put the data here. Three two two. Three two three one zero three, three three two. 322, 310. You could double check. One is R, one is S. So that's for the database. Then we could uh, click preview. So here you can see test R and S. And you just need to use, use group in editor. On the left side, you can say uh, now the database is a test, and there are two tables, R and S. And now we need to write some relational algebra queries 
to to get some result. The first one is pi b d sigma a greater than one, and the table is r. So we should uh, change the query here, pi b d, and uh, the condition is a great. Uh, greater or equal than 1 and the table is just the R we could adjust the parentheses okay and we click execute query so here they give you the result just select the B and the D so we could double check the answer, which means we need to select uh, column B and D from the table R, just uh, the A should be greater than 1. So we should uh, get uh, the uh, row 1 and row 3. So it's 0, 3, 5, 2. It's uh, correct. Now we could uh, go to the second one. Select C, and the condition is A not equal 3, or here is AND, the next one is WALL, or E equal 2. E equal 2 from the table S. from the table S. Okay, we could uh, we could run the query. Then we could get the three zero two. We could double check the answer. We need to select the column C from the table S, add the A not equal three and or E equal two. So it just have the first one the first one uh, is okay, and uh, the third one is okay, and the fourth one is okay. So that's the reason we get the answer is 302. We could uh, continue to do the question 3. Pi AC, and uh, the table is R, union. Pi A C S R Union Pi A C S Change the R to S. We can see there is an uh, error, so we should uh, very pay attention to here. For the after the AC, we should uh, give a space. You could uh, not uh, just uh, write the R directly. You need to give it uh, a space. Yeah, so it will correct. So here they will show you the result. Select. <coughs> Select the column AC from the R and the column AC from S and do the union. You also could change the format inside the relational algebra editor. We will change the query just two lines. It was also correct. You also could get the same result. We could check the answer. In the table R, the column AC, and in the table S, the column AC. We should do the union, so we need to full out join all of them. It will be 3, 2, 0, 1, 3, 1, and uh, 1, 3, 1, 0. So it's correct. 
And for the next one, we will do for the question four. We just need to change the union to intersection. Run it. So we will get the similar column from the R and the S AC. So it's three two and three one. The answer is correct. The next question is five. We just need to change the intersection to difference. Here we get one zero. Since just the R and S, we just do not have the zero one in the S table. So the answer is zero one. We could find the three two and three one in the S table from the columns AC. The final question is six. We need to R and S to do the natural join. This one is easy. We just need to R natural join S query. So we connect these two tables together. There will be five columns A, B, C, D, E. And uh, we could get the total, the total rows and columns here. Here is for the other questions. If you have the same assignment or homework, you could uh, do the relational query, relational algebra query in this website, and uh, to test uh, your result. This website is very helpful for this kind of question. If you have any question. About this video, give me a comment. Thanks for your watching.